Hello guys, welcome back to another section in Linux Shell Scripting Automating Command Line Task. In this section, we have defining and calling functions. All right, these are the videos we have for this section. We have the function. Function is an action. We have function variables, passing arguments, and returning values. And we also have variable scopes. It is not the same everywhere. Also, we have overloading. We're defining the shell commands, and we have naming conventions in our functions. Let us move on to the video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the functions. Function is an action. A few things we just need to get straight before we head to a terminal is that in bash scripting, functions are a great way to reuse code. Think of a function as a small script within another script. All right? A small chunk of code which you may call multiple times within our script. Functions are particularly useful if you have certain tasks which needs to be performed several times. So instead of writing out the same code over and over again, we may write it once in a function then call the function every time so what we're going to be doing is we have a script created already over here we have a function script example over here that has been created already i created that so to open this script we're going to be using the nanotext editor all right here we have a simple script now whenever you want to start your bash scripting you start with a shebang or slash bin and bash now we have a comment over here that is called function examples. Now the reason why the comment is actually in there is because this is very important so that you can be able to read your code or whoever it is that wants to read your code can actually understand what you did in the script. All right. Starting from the beginning here, we have the name of our function. Now this is one of the ways to write a function and this is one of the ways to call a function. Now let's start from here. We have print underscore function. We have open parentheses and close parentheses. We have an open curly brace and we have a command over here. You can see over here we have echo beginning functions and we have a closing brace over here that stops this over here. So you close this command, close this, this opens it and this closes it. All right now, as you can see over here, what is going on is this will be called two times because we called our functions two times. Now to do that, let's just do control zero to save the script and control X to get out. Now to run this script, you can see sh dot forward slash the name of the function, or you can just say dot forward slash name of the function, then enter. You can see we have a function two times. All right. Things to notice first is that we define a function by giving it a name. Let's take a look at this script. All right, we have the script over here. You can see we define a function with an open curly brace and a closed curly brace. We have an open curly brace and a closed curly brace. We have a command over here and we call the function over here. So that is what we did. We may have many commands as much as we like in this script, as long as we call the function, code, or our script will actually run. So that's all for this video, guys.